What? Wait, wait. What are these? What are these? These old, nasty, dry rotted tires. What may they be? Them are cheated up tires. That's what they are. <laughs> what's up guys welcome back to the channel we are outside well i say we i am outside getting ready to work on the rsx car and i know it has been a little bit since you have uh, seen me guys the last race that i was able to go to was with pops to southern raceway where he cheated with them old junky tires and got thrown out i am so excited that dad like uh, SWE Racing, Mr. Steve, Mr. Steve said, he smoked them in the heat and smoked them in the main. Um, that's what he did. We are pumped. We found the right tire size on the front of the car. Unfortunately, got thrown out. I hate that for dad, but we all know, and I know that we had so many people comment. We all know he won, and uh, we're proud of him. But it's time to get the right tires ordered so that we can go back over there and redeem ourselves. We figured that out, so I know that we are gonna go back over there and just be able to be really good right off the bat without having to worry about tire size. So, also, you saw Travis and Austin get Travis's car ready, and he also just finished his last race. Unfortunately, we do think that the motor is blown on Travis's car. We don't know, we know for sure, like he mentioned, that it jumped timing, but hopefully it's something that Travis can repair We've learned a ton about, you know, just the motors and inside of these K20 motors so that we know how to repair them. And that is, you know, a, a win to me because now if I have any problems or have any issues, I know that, you know, I can just call Travis just like he does me. So I'm pumped about that, but we've got a good video today. We're going to get a lot done on the RSX. Also show you guys the Bando for the weekend we have coming up real quick. Let's jump and do a driver spotlight and we'll come back and I'll show y'all what we've got. So this week's driver spotlight, I have got to say her name. Yes, her name is absolutely awesome. Miss Skylar Howard. She races at Carolina Speedway in North Carolina. She drives a Honda Civic, so I love it because her name's Skylar and she drives Honda. And she is 12 years old, number 18, drives a 99 Honda Civic. I absolutely love that her father, Steven, has got her into a car. Not only is she driving the cars, but she's also out there racing and working on them. And that's just what it's all about, having family, no matter girl, boy, or age. So, Skylar, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much for allowing us to do a driver spotlight. We hope you have a great year. So now, guys, let's get into the work, and I'll show you what we're going to get accomplished today. So most of you guys, if you are dirt racers, know this is something that is new to me coming from asphalt my whole life is these cars get filthy dirty. And I did not realize after watching like Hunt the Front, Miller Time Motorsports, Trezian Racing, a lot of these dirt guys, even, um, you know, guys that race asphalt do this, but the dirt, you know, they really do this is wash day is like a whole process. It's not just like, hey, I'm gonna go spray the car off and wash it right before the race. No, you have to spend like hours washing these cars because of so much dirt and how much weight is on them. So the good people at Super Clean, you can see I've got their hat on. They reached out to me and they said, hey, we know your guys, you know, they, they have all kinds of different products out there that you can use to wash a car. We wanna send you a little care package and let you show you know how good our products work so i did try their product already on the chrome rims but i know y'all hate chrome so i'm not even gonna show it but we're gonna use this product today um i've got the sticker on the car as a thank you they've sent me some wheel cleaner they sent me some grease remover and they also even have a new aerosol spray can we're gonna spray it over this entire car and we're gonna clean it up and the goal for today is we are going to try to get this car clean and get it dried and then i'm actually going to come back tomorrow 
and we are going to finally paint the inside of this car. I'm tired of it being all dirt, you know, uh, unfinished. You can see where I started before our accident, before I got gung ho on that race. And I only started painting just a little bit of it. And so we're gonna get in here, clean it all out real nice and get it completely finished, painted black, just as like the finish and final touch on this car. So I'm gonna set you guys up on a time lapse. We're gonna get this thing washed and clean, use the super clean product. So thank you, super clean. And we'll come back and I'll show y'all how clean this car looks. So here we go. Dang, son, that thing is super clean. <laughs> Looks almost as good as whenever I first painted it. Y'all can see my reflection in there. It did a really good job, especially on the rims. A Flam's now gonna have to come perform his magic trick on it because it took the paint off. And also super clean, if you guys are watching, it's so strong. It faded y'all sticker, so I'm gonna need you guys to send me a new sticker. That's how powerful that stuff is. But overall, that car looks great. So I don't know what you guys use as wash, but I highly recommend you guys giving Super Clean a try. You can get it at all your major retailers, different stores like that. So Super Clean, thank you guys for sending us the care package. I really appreciate it. Y'all send me some more of the spray foam because that for sure, was the best stuff that you had. I love how it foamed up over the car. But speaking of thank yous, I want to let you guys know how thankful I am. We have just reached, actually we're over it. We're at over our 500 subscriber milestone. So um, we're gonna do a shirt giveaway. I'm going to hold off on showing you guys the shirts just yet. I'm gonna go pick them up uh, the beginning of next week and i'll be able to show you guys but we are going to do a shirt giveaway on this video only so the super clean video only is the shirt giveaway for our 500 subscribers we've given all our other giveaways away and i want to as a thank you tell you guys how much it means to me to have your support y'all continue to like and subscribe and share because it really helps grow this channel and it's what i'm passionate about so make sure on this uh, video you comment super clean t-shirt giveaway or just t-shirt giveaway but if you can super clean t-shirt giveaway and uh, that is what I'm going to do as the keyword for the giveaway so again thank you guys it means the world to me we're going to uh, come back tomorrow I'm going to dry this car off let it sit overnight so that I can shop back all the dirt out and we'll catch you guys real quick and we'll come back and we'll get to painting so we're back, it's the next day. I just got home from work and I've ate dinner with the kids and came right out here. And I just want to admire how clean this car is, shining like a diamond. And I've set me up kind of a little um, makeshift paint booth, if you wanna call it that. But you guys will never believe this. The races are rained out. It flooded today. And it is just, this is a huge pile. All this is wet. There's water everywhere. So the track has rained out the races for the RSX car tomorrow night. Um, and with this humidity and the water, the paint's not really sticking to the car. I got some Walmart paint just to get into the little tight areas. Just this regular old cheapo depot Walmart paint. I tried to do a spot right here and it does look really nice, but it's just not really sticking the way that I want it to. 
And so we're not gonna focus on the RSX anymore. I know I said I wanted to try to get this interior painted, but I think I'm gonna wait for a really nice dry day where it's sunny out and I'm actually gonna mix up the same base coat paint that I used to spray the car and use that to spray the inside. It's gonna go a lot smoother. It's gonna stick better and it's not gonna be so humid with the wet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna call that a video on the RSX and we're gonna jump into the shop and I'm gonna show you guys what we've got planned because this video, um, I'm excited to announce the Bandolero is possibly on the agenda for tomorrow night at Sunny South Raceway with a flim behind the wheel. So again, I wanna shout out to Super Clean, thank them so much for providing us with the stuff to clean this car. We'll put the car on the back burner and it will just have to wait. Let's go over here to the shop and I'll show you guys the Bandolero bill. And there she is. I love her and hate her at the exact same time. She did this to me, which by the way, guys, I've gained all my movement back. I've started my therapy and everything's going good. So I'm almost back to working condition and we'll go from there but i want to show you guys you saw that austin got this thing ready there's just some minor things left to do to the car um, we got some bearings these bearings were bad in the front right wheel which we found out they were dragging and sticking up really bad and that is not what we wanted so we got us some new bearings for the right front wheel. So we're gonna get these put in and we're gonna get the seat cover put in, get the battery put on charge. And then my wife is gonna get Austin stickers made to stick onto the car. And we'll just go over everything, make sure everything is good with it. I'm really excited that Austin gets to bring this out. I'm not gonna worry about that right side. Um, I made a joke with my brothers that that's just gonna have to flop. I've already lost one finger and I don't plan on use, losing another one. So we're just gonna let that ride. If it flops, it flops and oh well. But I'm gonna set you guys on the tripod. We're gonna get to work and go over and get this thing ready. And then hopefully this time, I don't wanna jinx myself like I did last time. We'll get this thing <laughs> washed up and get it on the trailer. And then next video will be Austin at the track, hopefully if they don't rain us out. So. Here we go, let's get to work on this thing and get it prepared for the race. So I'm gonna take this rear body off so that we can put that charging cable on the battery so that I can make sure that I get it charged up. If y'all remember in one of the uh, first videos of this, we put that them charging ports on the, the back of this car and I want to see if we can use them because I want to make sure that I have a nice charged battery for this car for the track. Just like that. So I think we actually, uh, what ended up happening with this cable, this charging cable, is that I ended up needing it and used it as the starter wire if I remember correctly, because the starter wire broke. So that's why we didn't use that. And so we're just gonna get this put back on here. I got this trusty handy dandy wire at Walmart and we're gonna hook it back up and see if this charging system will work on the car finally. So that whenever we go to charge the battery, I don't have to keep taking that back on and off each time which is something I would really enjoy to be able to just hook the battery up and charge it that way instead. All right. There it is. So we got this cable hooked up. I'll just have to zip tie everything out of the way to get it back here. Let's see if it still spins over. I know we got power still, so I'm gonna hook the battery charger up and we'll get that uh, charging. 
while we work on the rest of this stuff. Got the battery charger hooked up. It is charging. So I know that it is working. And not only that, I came over here after charging it and she spins over good now. So that's done. I also tightened up the new clutch. We had to do the gear change on that. And then I came up with a handy dandy solution to the body flopping and just drilled out our body there and put some Frankenstein zip ties on it. So it'll look good. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to push it back just a little bit and get the jack. Y'all say a prayer for me. And I'm gonna jack the front up and we're gonna take this tire off and get that thing ready to put the new wheel bearings in that we showed you earlier. So this time, I'm actually gonna show you guys me jacking the car up in case something happens, we can get it on film. Because if I would have videoed the last thing that happened to my finger, I probably would have went viral. The one time you don't video, and that's what happens. But, oh well. So this time we are gonna get the semi jacket up. So this is the one that's bad. Go check this out. See how that's not even spinning? This one's just hanging up real bad. This one's not even wanting to spin. Look at this. I'm having to put a lot of pressure on that. So we're gonna get these taken out and change these out. There we go. Take the old bearing. Oh yeah. There we go. A lot better. So let's get this put back on there. So that should be a ton better now. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That may not have been the right way to install the bearings, but that's the way I did it. All that's gotta happen, and I don't wanna jinx it, is a Flim's front wheel just has to stay on. <laughs> I just wanna make sure that no matter what, this front wheel does not come flying off, because that's what we were afraid of the last time we went to the track. When we found that, we were like, man, that would have been bad. Wheel back on, and we're set. Put these lugs back on, and we'll let her down on the ground. There you go. Check that out. Spinning a lot better. And the other side, I've already finished it up and put the new bearings over there, so we no longer have to worry about this tire. I got the battery charging. I've got everything tight on the car. All a Flem has to do is come back out tomorrow and tidy up the small stuff, put the sticker on it, get the seat cover in, clean it, wash it, which is all I wanted to do before I had my accident. But I'm excited about this car. We're gonna end the video here. We'll come back for our next video, hopefully if we don't get rained out, and we will have this on the track. This is a debut for this bandolero you've seen my very first video we worked on this if you haven't seen that it's not my best work actually it was my first video so i'm not embarrassed by it but we've grown from there again we'd like to thank everybody for the 500 subscriber mark make sure you comment down below for that t-shirt travis and a Flem showed you guys some of our projects we have up in st louis 
Y'all, I cannot stress to you enough, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to the channel. We have a lot of builds coming for the off season and a couple of surprises that I mentioned to you guys. That first surprise is coming real soon. It should be in the next couple of videos. We are going to reveal one of the things that the sponsor gave to us. So make sure that you hit the notification bell to let you guys uh, get a reminder for when we post. We're trying to post very often. So again, thank you guys. Thank you, Super Clean. We appreciate everybody's support. Make sure you stay tuned. And hopefully if we don't get rained out, this thing will be on the track tomorrow night. So again, guys, God bless you. Be careful, and we'll see you in the next one.